Hi, thank you for joining me on today's episode. I was almost not recording this podcast, this episode, because I've been under the weather. Yes, I got the flu. It's been rough for the last couple of days. But then again, I have this thing to do, right? One of the most prominent content creators in my country one day said that one thing that is learned is that no matter what is happening, make sure you're moving. Mm -hmm. Make sure this small, small progress. You could be sick. Uh, you could have lost someone, gone through a breakup, uh, lost your job. Just make sure there's movement. Go to the gym, walk, walk around, move around. Don't sit and feel pitiful and sad about it. Mm -hmm. Feel about it. But while you're doing that, make sure you're on the move. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is me embracing that, yo. That my voice might be, you know, slightly different, right? I might be feeling weak, but yo, I've got to move, right? I have to wake up and keep it going. So welcome to today's episode. I'm going to talk about love. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use a different approach, right? And the title is that love, mm -hmm. no, a love that is simple makes the most progress. A love that is simple, a love that is not complicated, it makes a lot of progress. There's this couple I've been following, but I know them. They met last year, started talking, boy liked the girl, guy liked the boy. And by the way, it's true what they say. When a girl likes you, she makes the job easier for you. You won't have to do too much for, for, for her to get, for you, for you to get her attention, for her to, to reply your message, right? It is the girl that doesn't like you that you do too much work. Mm -hmm. It's take a week for her to reply to your text. But when a girl likes you, no, she doesn't have the time for th those games. Uh, like, even when people like each other, they don't have time to play those games, right? They, they sent me, um, I, I sent a text message, right? Um, three paragraphs. They replied with three lines. I don't need to start now revenging. You know what? You give me three lines, let me give you two lines. When two people are mature and secure, they don't play such games. They, 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 they're not, they're not like sort of putting the other person in a, in a what a that thing of viewing, mm? in a magnifying glass, glass lens to see what they're doing wrong and, and then amplifying on that. They just focus on the bigger picture. Hey, I want us to, you know, let us mar let's get married. Let's build a future together. Let's start a business. The, the picture, the, the bigger picture is so clear for them to be caught up by those small, small things. Mm -hmm. Hoping that makes sense. So I noticed this guy is just making a lot of progress within a short time. I was like, wow, that's quite something. They've made too much progress within a short period of time. And the reason of that is because their love is simple. It is simple. It's not complicated. Do you know what complicates love? It is the insecurities and the toxic emotions. Do you know the toxic emotions? Fear, mm -hmm. condemnation, guilt. That, that is a lot of garbage to be moving around with. So, so I love when someone is secure, right, about themselves, they understand their identity. The other person understands that. Yo, it, it's a beautiful thing. It's not a struggle. Actually, let, let, me, let me add more just into this. A love that does not come with many demands makes a lot of progress, right? You see people putting these uh, barriers for someone to overcome, then they can finally love them. And you think that is coming from a healthy place. You think that that's coming from a place, uh, I know myself, you know, I know my standards. Mm -hmm. I'm too pretty, I'm too good, I'm a solid 10, right? So he has to prove it. And, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't the other person should improve, right? You should win. The, you, they shouldn't do something or or go through the process of you winning their trust. What I'm trying to say is that of them winning your trust, right? What I'm saying is that these too many standards, right? Too many standards. They come from a place of lack because I don't feel good enough about myself. I come with the baggage of standards that I want the other person to meet so that I can feel important. So it means that I depend on them for my happiness, right? For a good vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the codependence, right? I don't know what they call it, but you get, the, you, 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 you get what I'm trying to say. And, and out of that, because I've been in that place where I, was, I had too many demands, where I was so insecure. And by the way, 
anytime I ever tear down my partner, right, or even my family members or my friendship, it is it is because I was so cautious of the insecurities. It because I didn't have a clear picture of my identity. Mm -hmm. And that is why I was lingering on the small things. The small things were bothering me. Who is that guy you're talking to? I didn't like the way you spoke to me. Always oh, just pinpointing the small, small mistakes. That is not brilliance. You might think you're being brilliant, but no, it is it is the lack and the lack of identity. Mm -hmm. It means you've you've lost the focus of the main picture. When you're looking at the bigger picture. And then you allow life to flow from that. You're easy to love. Mm -hmm. Yes. The reason why you are, uh, you, you, why? Let me just, I, I, don't, I don't want it to sound like I'm condemning, <laughs> I'm condemning you guys. The reason why I was difficult to love is because I didn't have a clear understanding of my identity. It's because my I had a different focus. I was focusing on the wrong things. I was focusing on fixing how other people view me. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on getting validation, right? Or on being liked and accepted. <sighs> that is not healthy, right? Uh, uh, there was too many of the, the, the toxic emotions, the anger, the fear. Oh, fear is horrible. Oh, I can't, that, that's a topic for another day. Fear, condemnation, guilt, feeling like I'm never good enough. Feeling like I'm never good enough, always comparing. And now then I'm out there like, yo, I need you to date me, love me, make me happy. It's like uh, going with an empty cup, mm -hmm. going with an empty cup, right? And then I'm like, yo, babe, I want you to fill this cup. Reply my message, answer my text messages, talk to me nicely, stop talking to other guys, do this. What are you doing? Why are you always up? Just always fixing the other person. Because my cup is empty. I'm not even pouring to the other person. I just come with demands. But when I understand my value, my identity, when I understand that God has made me worthy, mm -hmm, I come with the overflowing cup. The Bible says that to anyone that believes, living waters shall flow from their belly. So me, I come with a cup that is full. I can pour into you. Right? I can push you to be better in finances. I can, I can, I can show you how beautiful you are. Right? I can show you how amazing you are. I can compliment you. Right? We, we can build something beautiful together because we are both overflowing, and that comes from that place of understanding. Right? How much we've been loved and valued by God. I right? remember that life flaws from identity, even love, how you relate, how you talk to your boss, how you behave, everything in life flaws from identity. Mm -hmm. Find some people, the only identity they're carrying in life is that I was abused by my mother as a small child. I wasn't loved. So I carry that. Everything I have to measure it against that, right? Everything I do, Right, and yo, I'm sorry you're hurting. I'm sorry you went through the, through the, the your parents went through the nasty divorce that you were abused. But that identity, yo, there's a better identity, right? There's a better identity, and that is the love of God. Everybody, friends, remember this: that everybody identifies with something. You could be an atheist, could be in Scientology. Hello, mm -hmm. most of your favorite celebrities like that. Mm -hmm. You could be, I don't believe in the universe. I don't believe, I believe in the universe. I don't believe in the universe. I believe in this. I don't believe in God. Just too many beliefs. Everybody believes in something. Like there's always a higher logic or a higher power that you submit to. You might not like it. You can cut it in whether you want. But you, all of us, anyone that was created, there's always that one thing that we submit to. Let's say if I'm an, I'm an atheist, right? I'm, I, I'm depending on science to, and, and reasoning and logic to explain that why God isn't good or why God doesn't exist. And then logic becomes my God. All of us, there's, there's something that we've made it to be God. Could be money, could be celebrities, could be pornography, could be abuse. There's always something that you've made it to be called. So the good question here is, what is that thing? And how is it serving you? And, and why I like the love of God? The love of God, it is a source of, of awesomeness and beauty and power and healing that constantly pours into you, irrespective of your mistakes, your flaws, 
what you did, what you did to them, what you say. It doesn't look at that. The Bible said that if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who pours, who gives liberally to all men. It doesn't say, let me see, have they been a good person before I bless them? No, that is not God. I know some people teach you that, but that is not my God. So when you have that identity and you love from that place, you live life from that place, mm, it's a beautiful thing. Let's get back to the topic. That I love that is simple. That doesn't come with too many demands. It makes the most progress. Mm -hmm. For real. The demands and the barriers that I'm putting for the other person and the walls that I'm putting there, most of them are coming from not me not knowing my identity, me having uh, unforgiveness issues, right? Identity issues, fear, anger. And that's why now I need the other person to put in the work. Then finally I can be like, yo, I love you too. Really? No, you will not make progress in, in, in that environment. In, in, in That love, that type of love, and it can be very addictive. They say that toxic love is very addictive. It can be very addictive. You might, you might like the thrill of the chase, right? I chased that girl. I tamed her. Everyone right in the hood, anyone in the, everyone in the class wanted her. I'm the one who won over her. So you, you feel special, really? So you are not feeling special. You getting her now makes you feel special. Uh-uh. No. It means that you're depending on them for, your, for you to, get the, for you to, to feel important. You're doing your meaning from that, the achievement, the career, the person saying yes to you. No, that, that shouldn't be the case. Friends, to really simplify this, right? A love that is simple, and this applies to friendships, the family, mm -hmm, colleagues, bosses, right? A love that is simple. Yo, it makes, it makes the most progress. I meet a girl, I like her, she likes me, right? We both have a great understanding, a, a great perspective about life. We're not complicated. We start building together, right? But the complications, they, they slow down the process of building. Mm -hmm. Yo, I pray that you find a simple love. A love that you don't have to do too much to prove yourself. And do too much explaining. I keep on saying this. I've never gotten anything nice out of over-explaining, over-analyzing. Mm -hmm. Overthinking? No, I've never gotten anything nice out of that. Over texting? <laughs> Yo, don't text a message. I still text them anyway. Mm. A love that is simple it makes the most progress. It has less demands. I'm not demanding my partner to do too many things for me. Right? I'm not, I'm not like a watchdog or watchman watching what goes wrong that complicates love. Mm. Yo, I'm hoping that this, this is making sense. Do you get the point? Mm? You get the point of what I'm trying to say. A love that is simple. Yo, man, I wish I knew this many years ago and I would have tried less. Mm -hmm. Do we really get good things out of trying hard? Mm -mm. No, oh, that one, no. It's no longer my portion. They say that cream always rises to the top. Mm -hmm. Things are beautiful when they're simple. If, you know what made Christ to be outstanding? It's how simple he was. Mm -hmm. It was very simple. He wasn't trying to complicate things. They even asked him, what is the greatest of them all? He said, love. Mm -hmm. And he came because of love, by the way. He came save us because of love, because he loves us. Mm. Friends, I pray you find mm -hmm, a love that is simple. Mm -hmm. There's so much beauty and simplicity. Just to explain, you ever notice the pictures that you take without doing too much? That sometimes, if not most of the times, are your most, are your best pictures? Mm -hmm. But the ones where you have to do too much and the pausing and you're trying, like, ah, I don't like them. You don't like the outcome. Mm -hmm. The same thing applies to love. Doing too much, explaining. Uh-uh. A love that is simple. Right? If it's simple, it means that the, your in-laws, where you're marrying from, the, 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 right there, the, they have an understanding, right? They won't put too many barriers for you because it is a, it's, a, it's simple. It's a simple love. Mm -hmm. Your girlfriend, your wife, 
your sister, your brother, your boss. Things are better and they're simple. Mm -hmm. The complications, that they hinder the growth. Mm -hmm. They slow down the progress. And the reason why it is not simple, mm -hmm, why it is complicated, it is because of, of a lack of identity. Mm -hmm. It's because that I'm carrying too much baggage. Mm -hmm. and, and there's so much lack on the inside. I'm going around with the empty cup. I'm coming with too many demands. And these demands do not come from a place of I'm an awesome person. Mm -hmm. I'm amazing. I'm powerful. That's why I need them to do a lot. That's why I need her to do a lot. Mm -hmm. No. A love that is simple. Mm -hmm. Makes the most progress. Here's the one in the scripture that says that it gives understanding to the simple. I'm hoping I'm correct. I'm just paraphrasing. It gives, it gives understanding to the simple. Mm, the word of God, mm -hmm. it gives understanding to the simple. Yo, having, having a simple mind, it does not mean that you're dumb or you're playing small. Uh -uh. Having a simple mind of not complicating things, of not staying the small things bothering you. What they did three years ago, you're still holding on to it. Complications. Yo, when you simplify life, Yo, and, and what simplifies this whole thing is your identity. When you knowing how much you've been loved and valued by God. Mm -hmm. mm. Then allowing things to flow from that. It'd be easy to love, easy to understand, easy to be around. Uh -huh. Being difficult. Have I seen people who flex on that? Hey, they're just saying it out louder like it's. Uh uh. Hmm. Well, well, I hope you make sense out of that. <laughs> I'm still learning this thing, hoping that I wasn't ranting. Was I ranting? <laughs> um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you for the next episode, right? Yeah. Take care.